Hi, I'm here to tell you everything I know about how I route my hoses on a twin set. And getting this right, you'll no longer look confused on a dive site when you see a diver wrapping a hose around his head. Hi, I'm Andy Nord Diver and welcome to another episode in this series of scuba diving tutorials where I'm going to be talking you through how I route my hoses on my twin set. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button below that way you can see all the other scuba diving tutorials we've done plus a load of other videos and then if you click the little bell icon at the side of that you'll get a notification every time we post a new video but if you haven't got a YouTube account then if you click this link just up here it'll take you to a video that I've made it'll take you two minutes to set up a YouTube account you'll be able to like subscribe and comment on any video that you watch on YouTube so this is how I configure my twin set there might be several different other ways that other people do it I'm not saying that they're wrong this is just how I configure mine somebody asked me on one of my previous videos Andy show us how you configure your hose routing on your twin set so this is the video to show you how I do it so as ever I'm always using the Apex XTX DSTs that's dry sealed turret version of the XTX range of first age regulators. The fifth port's installed on the top of the first age regulator that allows the hose routing to be nice and tidy and it stops any real major kinks in those hoses. We'll start off with the right hand cylinder. So on this regulator you'll notice there's only two hoses. There's a 2.1 meter long hose which is for my primary second stage regulator and then also the inflator hose for my wing. So as you can see the inflator hose comes nice and neatly out of that regulator by using the fifth port addition and then on the turret comes the two meter hose that way if there's an out of gas diver situation when this de is deployed it can rotate up to allow the hose to be in front of me which is where the out of gas diver would always go as ever on my primary second stage i've always got a bolt snap that's to allow whenever this isn't in use for it to be clipped up nice and tidily on my chest D-ring. Moving over to the left cylinder, we have our secondary second stage regulator that comes off the fifth port addition. Okay, and I've also got an elbow on that to make it nice and neat as it comes over the shoulder. It prevents any kinking in the hosing. I have a necklace on the mouthpiece so I can wear that regulator around my neck. From one of the high pressure ports on that regulator, we've got my SPG. Again, it's got a little bolt snap on it. So that just clips in to the waistband and we've also got my dry suit inflator hose now that's allowed to rotate but really makes no difference because it's just going to fit underneath one of the shoulder straps of my harness and isn't really going to move the point we really need to emphasize is the fact that the fifth port allows nice routing of that hose without any sort of kinks to it which we all should know by now that it's quite detrimental to kink a hose too much for too long because after a while it'll just give way. So now I've got the twin set on, what I'm going to do is get the secondary, second stage and put that over my head. So that's just worn straight around the neck, ready to just pop in as and when it's required. Then I'm going to grab the primary second stage, unclip it, I'm going to pull the hose all the way out and check just over my shoulder right up to the first stage, even follow it back with my hand if I can and just check that it is deployable, pull it all the way out and there's no kinks or twists or tangles in that. I'll then route that down behind my wing, straight down the side of it, behind my arm. So that comes down there. It either goes and gets tucked into my belt loop or underneath the canister torch battery. Then the loop of the hose goes over the neck and this is then breathed off as and when you're in the water. And when you're not using it, the bolt snap gets clipped up on the shoulder D-ring. So let me know in the comments below if you do anything differently, if you have a different configuration altogether, leave me a message in the comments below and I'll sure to get back to you and I'll give you a thumbs up. So make sure you watch the rest of the videos in this series for which I'll put a link up here and thanks for watching, see you on the next one. So you want Insta?